All right, folks, welcome back to uh, Mending the Drift channel. Um, I want to give a quick update on getting this boat registered with the state. Uh, if you'll remember from the, one of the previous videos that I did, um, I'd gone through a little bit of an ordeal trying to get the boat registered. So what I had to do was uh, they, Game and Fish sent me a letter or some paperwork, one form that I had to fill out, basically filled it out, took pictures of the boat, sent it in. I sent it in on a Friday, and I think I had probably back in the mail by Wednesday, uh, this documentation, which gave me a new hull identification number. So they reviewed the, the pictures, agreed that it was that type of boat and probably that year model, issued me a new hull identification number, and then it's up to me to take that. And uh, they gave you a couple different ways you could um, add it to the boat. So you could have it um, engraved on the boat, or what I did was I went down to an office supply store and had them make me and um, I'll show you I'll show you what they look like when I get them back uh, just a little it's probably he said it would be like three inches by an inch wide they engraved the hull identification number on there I got two one of the requirements in my state is that you have to um, place it in two different areas and so uh, one of those will go on the right let me make sure I'm getting this right here uh, the right corner of the boat and then uh, you take another one or you engrave it in another area under um, What we'll probably do is we've got two storage lids that are part of the, the back of this boat and we'll probably affix one um, In that area so pro out of a, a hidden area, I guess in case the boats uh, Ever stolen and it's recovered and if they've popped off the one that's obvious um, they would want you to have one in an area where you could um, go there to identify your your boat I'm sure is what they uh, what they want you to do so once I get those put on I have to fill this other form out take additional photos that show that I have indeed placed the the whole identification number on the boat and then I send that paperwork back in and it's my understanding that they'll send me a document at that point that I can take to uh, what we call the DMV or the Department of Finance and they will issue the actual state registration for this boat with the state emblem and then the numbers that go along the side of it. So that's kind of where we are right now. Um, as far as the boat project goes today, we're going to be, uh, my son uh, this week took out the old, like I said, I think they had a bait well in here or they may have had a live well in this boat at one point, but the it had a a pump or aerator up here that uh, he ripped out and um, well here let me just show you so today I'm going to be working on grinding this transom out and I think what we've decided to do is I'm gonna I've got my right angle grinder here we're gonna um, cut out these welds here and here and then I'm gonna cut this up here and if I can leave it attached at the bottom I will and then I'm gonna try to get this old rotten transom out here and then um, with without taking these uh, storage lids out and then try to um, we'll get a new piece of wood to try to get that back down in there and then um, I've got a friend or I know some people have welding shops around town and we're gonna go over and get it um, I'm not sure if I want to get re-weld this I think down the road if if we need to do something again that might be a pain so I'm probably will just um, go with what's normally you know they normally put just a couple of bolts here uh, to keep it attached and i think that's that'll be the easiest way to do it in case for some reason down the road i need to take this plate off or do something with the transom i'm not running back and forth to a welding shop every time i need to do something so transom work is the plan for this week we're going to uh, try to get that thing out try to get a new piece of wood get it um, uh, painted and uh, maybe some resin around the edges of it i i don't Feel like I have to go overboard. I'm going to be able to keep the boat in the in my shop, so it's not going to be sitting out in the weather unless, or be out in the weather, I guess, unless we're fishing in the rain or um, you know, happen as we're going home, you know, to pull it through the rain coming back to the house for some reason. So for the most part, it's going to be uh, be garage kept or shop kept. Um, but we will. Um, I've seen a couple of YouTube channels that I, I follow. Uh, Tiny Boat Nation and uh, Fire Ant Fishing, I think, is the other one, and they've got some good videos on how to um, uh, protect the wood, what they've used, you know, products they've used, and that's probably what we're going to go with. 
So I'll shoot some footage of me tearing that thing out and uh, replacing the wood just so you can kind of see what I did. And then um, hopefully uh, if I get over to the welding shop, uh, I can shoot some video over there to, to kind of show you what those guys do. And um, we haven't decided yet. We're talking about, I'm not sure if we're gonna put a, a live well back in this boat. Um, we don't tournament fish that can, you know, if I, if I, if we catch crappie or bass or whatever, we're either, we're either gonna keep them to eat so they're going to go on an ice chest so it doesn't matter really if they if they stay alive and or we're going to throw them back um we like i said we don't do a lot of tournament fishing so i don't see a huge reason to have a live well i don't do a lot of um here in the south I, you know we run do yo-yos or uh, trot lines or limb lines i don't do a lot of that so i don't really need a reason to keep bait if I, you know for some reason we were fishing with minnows or shiners or goldfish or something like that i can throw i can put them in a minnow bucket and we can throw them over the side of the boat um but we haven't made a decision yet i'm going to talk to the guy at the welding shop and see what he can do because it's two pretty good size holes um for that inlet and the outlet um you know it's normal size or what you would expect for one of those so i'm going to see um how well they think they can patch these holes if not i may end up having to put put something back in there um, but we're just going to have to see so if you like this video, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. If you want to see more of the project, it's, um, we've got the trailer finished. We've got to get the transom fixed. Next from there, we're going to do a little bit more sanding, and then we're going to start shooting some primer and paint on this boat, and then we're going to start building decks and stuff from there. So if you want to see that stuff take place, uh, hit the subscribe button down below, and I appreciate you guys watching, and we'll see you next time. Thanks.